loose ass. Destiny, there's loose hairs on this. It's not gonna get stuck with yours. Destiny, what? girl. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Ricky and today I'm back with a new video. Destiny is over there getting your hair done because we're about to film another video which is going to be Smash Your Pass. Ah, I give up. So for today's video, I'm going to be reacting to Cardi B's new album which is titled Invasion of Privacy. I am so freaking excited. Huh? Is it a scissor? Yeah! <laughs> But here's the album cover. I honestly really, really like it. It's really like in with like the glasses and the checkered and like the black and white contrast. I think it's really, really freaking nice. Like, I'm sure those glasses are fashionable because she's always plugging flat. <laughs> I'm so excited for this album because SZA is in the album. SZA is in the album and I'm so freaking excited. There's also other features like Kehlani, Migos, um, um, I think Jay, ba Jay Bovin. J Bob. J Balvin. So he's in it. So let's get started. So the first song I'm going to be reacting to is Get Up 10. This is the first song off the album. Look, they gave a bitch two options. Stripping the loose. Used to dance in the club. Right? Stuck to assume. Mama couldn't give it to me. Had to get it in suits. Lord only knows who was a bitch. This is like from the heart. Like it's super like deep. Like, I, I can't relate, but I can, you know, read through the words and that Do you know this? No. Oh, she's a... This is really good. Like, it's super catchy, and I feel like if I got to learn it and play it, like, a thousand times, I wouldn't get tired of it because there's not a, a really annoying, like, chorus. And I get up 10! Oh! Oh, I did it! I swear to God, I did not. I did not. I did not hear that before, but I just didn't know that. It's just... That was really good. What a coincidence! What a coincidence! I got us. That let us know who she was. I, like I know who Cardi B is. I know her story. Like that was really, really good, and that was titled "Get Up 10. The next song is called "Drip" featuring Migos, which Offset is in Migos, which is her man. So I mean. Kind of saw this coming. A lot of these, well, <laughs> I've heard like one so far, but I feel like a lot of the songs on this album could be radio songs. God! I can tell it's gonna be like, oh. This is really good. It's super like fast. Like, if you want to fuck with me, I double do. Don't drown. I love. Is it called a chorus? Yeah, right? Like the. Yeah, I like the chorus. Don't you like it? Good job. That was good, right? Oh, shit. I really like that song. The chorus was really, really good. It was really upbeat, but it was also very like catchy and fun. So that was Drip and that was featuring Migos and it was amazing. This next song is titled Big and Head. I don't know. I don't know what that means. I really like it. It was catchy, but not my favorite for sure. Drip was really good. That one is my favorite so far. So Drip is bomb. The next song off the album is Bodak Yellow, which we've all listened to a thousand times. So we're just gonna skip Bodak Yellow and we're gonna go straight to Be Careful. Look, I wanna get married like the Curry, Steph and Aisha shit. But we oh, that was good. Like, like a little shit. Give me nigga, it's cool though. Said that you was working, but you out here chasing cool. Cool I knew I was gonna say it. I knew it. Because it literally, literally rhymes with cool. It's very like sweet, but I feel like it's kind of like a little like anthem, kind of like a watch yourself, like catch yourself before, you know, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Kind of like that, because it's like, because it's like be careful to a man. So it's like, be careful, bitch. Not a threat, 
is so worn and be careful with me. Yeah. My heart is like a package with a fragile label on it. Be careful with me. That was good. That was cute. You heard what it said? My heart is like a package. It's fragile. Be careful with me. This girl's crying over here. <laughs> that was good. I really liked Be Careful. That was a really, really good song. It was like deep, but it was also like, check yourself before you wreck yourself. At Caitlyn. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. The next song is Ring featuring Kehlani. Before Cardi starts, I feel like this should have been a song by Kehlani alone. Because that, ver that verse was really, really good, huh? It was so- look, here, here, just here a little bit. Do you like how it looks? Didn't this sound good, like, by itself? Cardi's gonna add that gangsta, which I like, but Kehlani should have stayed alone! That sounds so wild to me. Ring, 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 no ring, ring, ring. That was good. If it was Kehlani alone. <laughs> I really was waiting for the feature with Kehlani and... I was gonna say motorsport. With Kehlani and Cardi and I was waiting for it for so long because Kehlani had hinted it in an interview and I thought it was gonna be so good and it was really good but I wish it was just Kehlani because it was a really sweet song and I was waiting for like a second or third verse but there wasn't because it was Cardi's verse so anyways next song is called Moneybag homegirl really came in for a bra <laughs> like I know I already know that this song is gonna be like like it's gonna be her showing off but like being humble about like having money Oh, Beyonce, what the heck? I'm like, I was like thinking, anyways, I'm wearing my formation world tour shirt, Beyonce. The next, conga, next song is called She Bad, featuring YG. I don't like it. I don't like that. Gucci bag, Louis bag, Fashion bag. Blah, blah, blah. Fashion Nova, there she goes. That was a lot. Like the Louis bag, Gucci bag, Fanny bag. Yeah, me either. The next song is called Through Your Phone. Who oh, broke her heart, huh? Oh, Who is this? Oh, there's no like feature name, but it's put like a a real quick feature. Yeah. Wait, that's Cardi. A Beyonce again? Ooh. Like singing the that's Cardi, auto tune as hell, but that's Cardi. That was a good one. Like the whole beat and everything is so good. The last song that I'm going to be reacting to, which is the last song on the album, is called I Do. And that one's featuring SZA. Okay, it sounds like very like alleyway bad. That's SZA. Don't tell me it's oh, it's over. That was a good album. That SZA song has me hooked. I'm gonna be listening to it. It's gonna be my new favorite bop. 
I'm so excited. Cardi is doing such good things. I'm so excited for her to go on tour, maybe, in the future, I'm sure. But anyways, if you guys like this reaction video, please leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, y'all.